It is exactly what the Lord is trying to send this profound message to all of us, our beloveds, and that is, when are we going to be satisfied? When are we going to be happy and satisfied? When the weather is cold, we complain. And when the weather is hot, we also complain. When, when it is raining like today, we complain. This is why I asked you, see, I got you. It is a miserable weather, Father. But you know what? Every condition and every situation we go through, there is always a complaint of some sort. We are never content. We're never happy. The gospel of today is about this woman who happened to be a sinner. Big deal. Who isn't? Aren't we all sinners? Aren't we all sinners? Well, the Lord Jesus was invited into one of these Pharisees' house. His name was Simon. And being a Pharisee, meaning he is a man of the law. He watches every letter, every word. He puts it under the microscope and makes sure that everyone adheres to it except himself. He is the first one that has broken the very law which he thinks he has mastered. He's the first one that has broken the very law which he thought he had mastered. So anyway, the Lord was invited into this Pharisee's house by the name of Simon. And while the Lord was sitting there, this woman hears that he is in this Pharisee's house. Jesus Christ is there. So she runs and she brings along with her an alabaster flask of fragrant oil and she comes from behind him and starts washing the Lord's feet with her own tears and then drying them up with the hair of her head. And then she pours that fragrant oil, a very expensive one, on the Lord's feet and anoints the Lord's feet. This Simon, this Pharisee, this master of the law in his heart says silently if this man was a prophet if this man referring to the Lord Jesus if this man was a prophet he would have known what kind of a woman touched him he wouldn't have allowed that to happen but looks like what I heard about him maybe was a mistake since Jesus Christ is God, revealed in the flesh, i.e. reads every heart, reads every mind, every thought, every human being, the Lord knew what this man had just said and judged in his heart. So the Lord turns to Simon the Pharisee and he asks him this question, but he gives him this little story then the Lord follows with it with a question. He says, there was a creditor who had two debtors. One owed him 500 denarii and the other one owed him 50 denarii. Both of them were unable to repay the debt. This creditor happens to be a very merciful person, a very kind one. He forgives them both their debts. Then the Lord asked Simon the Pharisee, Simon, which of these two debtors loved the creditor the most? Simon with confidence replies and says to the Lord Jesus, I believe the one who owed the most, 500. Of course, the one who was owing 500 would have loved 
this owner more than the one who owed him 50. The Lord says to Simon, so correctly you have judged. Simon, let me then say this to you. You see this woman whom you just judged in your own heart? I entered your house. You did not give me water to my feet. This woman with her tears, she washed my feet. You did not even kiss me. This woman, ever since she what came in, did not stop from kissing my feet. You did not anoint my head with oil. This woman anointed my feet with fragrant oil. Therefore, because she loved the most, her sins are forgiven. Because he who loves a lot, a lot is forgiven and he who loves little little shall he be forgiven and then he turns to the woman and says your faith has saved you go in peace your faith has saved you go in peace Prior to that, the Lord begins with verse 31 and says, Who do I liken the people of this generation? And what do they, who do they look like? They look like little children in the street or in the marketplace. This group of children saw another group of children and they yelled out to them, and they said, we played the flute for you and you did not dance. And we mourned for you and you did not weep. For John the Baptist came neither eating bread nor drinking wine. And you said, he's got a demon. He has a demon in him because he's not eating. He's not drinking. There is something wrong with him mentally sick. And then the Son of Man came eating and drinking and you said he's a glutton and a wine bibber and a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Which one is it? So if I come eating and drinking, you say, why are you eating and drinking? And if I come not eating nor drinking, you say, what's wrong with you? Why aren't you eating nor drinking? How do I win with you people? What else can there be done that has never been done by me, I, Jesus Christ? I've done everything for you, but you are still whinging and complaining. Until when are you going to stop from complaining and once in your life say, thank you, Lord, I am very content with everything you have given me and you have done for me. You can never satisfy people. Please pay attention. You can never satisfy people no matter what you do or not to do. 